Spider-Man Miles Morales is a good start to the PlayStation 5 library with fun gameplay and combat. Hello guys, welcome to a new review for Ace Eyes here today. I'm going to review Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yeah, I know I am a bit late on this one. <laughs> it's already February and um, I uh, didn't have a lot of time to do this review now after Cyberpunk. Um, but I do have some time now to do the review and I promised it. So here it is. I promise. First, we have graphics and sound. Spider-Man Miles Morales is a beautiful looking open world game, just like its predecessor game. For the first time, we have a game that is able to utilize ray tracing on a console. You have the option to play the game at a steady 30 frames a second at 4K with ray tracing enabled, or you can choose the smooth 60 FPS with 4K on PlayStation 5 without ray tracing. I personally preferred the performance option, as the ray tracing effects were not that noticeable for me. Web swinging is still as satisfying as the first Spider-Man entry. My overall experience with the game was pretty clean. I had two small bugs in my roughly 12 hour playthrough. And let's not forget the insane loading times on PlayStation 5. I was in my game under roughly 4 seconds from the start menu on a cold boot up. That is just insane if you ask me. The sound and music in the game is pretty good. You have pretty clean sound effects for almost every action in the game. The music also gave a nice spin on Miles' his storyline, as it fits his background character quite nicely. Gameplay is Miles Morales' strongest asset, with a engaging combat and upgrade system that will leave you with lots of fun. You always have a new power or gadgets to unlock that will help you in the, your journey. I really loved the new electrical attacks that Miles can perform against his enemies with satisfying finishers. If you played the previous Spider-Man on PlayStation 4, you will know what to expect from this game. It can feel like a DLC, especially because of its length and the same open world being reused, but it does feel different enough to stand on its own. One of my biggest complaints in the original Spider-Man was the lack of side quests. Miles Morales fixes this somewhat with a few small side stories that you can tackle next to the main storyline. I also loved the boss fights. This was probably my most favorite part of the game that they haven't skipped out on. There are some small extra vibrations when you play on PlayStation 5. They aren't that game changing, but at least they add some more immersion to the game. My only negative when it comes to the gameplay in Miles Morales is the invisibility mechanic. It's a bit too powerful in the beginning of the game, with a too fast recharge. And the stealth was a bit too easy because of that. Que guapo. Gracias, mami. Guys, I wanted to thank you, both of you. 
You need to lay low. Don't trust anybody, and don't take off that mask. This message is for Rockstar. The underground will stop. The story is quite good. Miles Morales is an interesting character that struggles with his own problems. The side characters around him are also pretty well done with good voice acting. My only negative with the story has to be Finn Mason. I didn't really enjoy her character too much, even with her prominent role in the story. She didn't really grab me as much as some other characters like Aaron Davis. He was probably the outstanding one in the story that we didn't get enough of. But overall, the story was pretty good, on a technical level as well as the pacing. Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. You're Spider-Man. You can fix this. Your way. Spider-Man Miles Morales is a worthy addition to the amazing new Insomniac Spider-Man world and a great start for the PlayStation 5. Even with its shorter length, I highly recommend you play the game at some point, even if that is with a light price drop. It's also a great bridge to the probably second big Spider-Man exclusive. Now, did you guys enjoyed this Race Eyes review? Leave a comment in the comment section below, leave a like, visit us on our website of course, and I will see you guys in the next video.